What's up guys, Takedown here with another comic book video for you guys. As you guys know, I collect and in 2018 I want to share some of my collections with you guys. Now that's not going to be the main focus of 2018. 2018 I would like to do more of videos where I'm doing something that I haven't done before, new things, trying new things. But anyways, let's get back into this video. Today is Iron Man, which I have a smaller than I thought comic book collection of Iron Man. But I'm going to be sharing it with you guys today. So there is a nine part series. All of these ones are pretty high up in the issue numbers. I will say that. Um, but they are some of my favorite comic books. I haven't read them in quite a while. And some of them I haven't even read. But starting off, I'm just going to share the nine part series, which is Armor Wars 2. Starting at ish, the, the first one of the series for Armored Wars 2. The nine part series is issue 258. So I'm just going to show you that one first, and then the rest of that nine-part series. So that's the first of the nine-part series. Here's number two. That is 259. <coughs> well, excuse me, my voice went there. 260, which is number three of the four-part series. That looks pretty, pretty good. I like that. You guys know it's all about design for me and subject matter and who it is. It's just... 261 stuttered there a little bit. Sorry. I do apologize 262 You get to see more of the face of him Tony Stark This one's interesting 263 264 265 and the last one of the nine part series which is 266 that's the issue number so pretty high up there not quite sure what year it is I would say 80s still because Iron Man's been around for years just like Spider-Man but now I'm getting into more of the interesting ones the ones that I kept because of the design the subject matter who else is starring in them so let's just get right, in, right into it this is Iron Man versus Iron Man, which I thought was amazing. Great comic book. Maybe I should slow down and actually let you guys see it. This one, Iron Man, this is issue number 182, and it says, In the morning, Tony, in the morning, Tony Stark will be sober or dead. That one is quite interesting. This one opens up a bit more of uh, Tony Stark. Uh, and his issues as opposed to just Iron Man. So it's pretty interesting. It's a good read. Good reading material. The Invincible Iron Man. This is issue number 170. Uh, and Iron Man you'll never... You'll never... You've never seen before. Whoa, I'm screwing up my uh, English today. Taking off the helmet armor for the first time, I believe. This one I kept because of uh, how funny it is. It's called Iron Man. It's issue number 254. It is called Ho Ho Homicide. Santa Claus. Trying to kill Iron Man. So I thought that was pretty interesting. It's probably one of the uh, Christmas comics that I actually own. Of course it's March March comic. Which I don't know how they did it back then. But in my opinion they should have made it. So it comes out in December or November. That would be smart strategy in my opinion but to have something come out in march and have people want to buy a christmas edition i don't know about that i do also have the punisher three-part holiday series the christmas special i'll share that with another video i don't have that this one is all about iron man anyways so let's just get into this one iron man 191 uh at last the return of the original iron man you got the original Iron Man on the cover. That is amazing. I love that car, uh, that cover. That cover is amazing. I'm trying not to stutter here. Who is the new Iron Man? Issue 231. It got Tony Stark in the background. Out of armor. That looks pretty freaking cool. Issue 243. And you have Tony Stark. You got the newspaper cover. Tony Stark is on the... Um, on a deathbed. No, there's police in the background. There is police in the background. So something tells me 
He got injured. The police are there. I honestly am saying it like that because I have not read it. It's on the to-do list, um, along with many other things that I just don't have time for lately to do. Iron Man versus the Captain. Not Captain America, just the Captain. That one I haven't read either. Some of these ones I probably haven't read at this point. Ooh, don't tip over there. Iron Man grappling with the Grey Gargoyle. Pretty interesting design right there on its own. You got Iron Man issue 233 with Ant-Man. Interesting read. Great cover. I like the collaborations. If you guys haven't noticed, I like collaborations if it's kind of like this one, issue 234. So the next one. Iron Man battles together with the Amazing Spider-Mans. This one is probably, probably one of my favorite Iron Man comics that I own. Look at that artwork. Basic white backgrounds. Iron Man, Spider-Man. It looks, it just looks amazing. Looks really interesting. I like it. I love it. This is Iron Man with probably my top um, superhero, which I don't know if I've ever mentioned it. I did support the t-shirt in the early comic book videos. I still have it, so maybe I'll wear that in the future. But the Incredible Hulk. Um, is he battling with it? Shellhead and the Hulkster join forces with the showdown with the Magia, Magia, issue 247. Honestly, I'm a huge fan of the Incredible Hulk. I used to own, I think it was valued at 25, I think now the value is 50. Can't remember the issue number, but it was Wolverine versus the Incredible Hulk. Beautiful, beautiful comic. Uh, sadly, I got rid of it, don't know why. Now I don't get rid of comics that I really enjoy anymore. I keep them in my personal collection because that's what I like doing. And finally I have issue 249, Iron Man. I'm not sure if it looks like he's battling with. It's Armor versus, Armored Avenger versus Doom. Okay. He's, fight, he's facing the Doom in this one. So that's pretty interesting. I also like whenever a villain of another superhero, so of course Fantastic Four, faces somebody else. It gives kind of a new feature to it all. It, it, it makes it really interesting. So of course, as you guys see, I like the collaboration videos a little bit more. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Next, I really hope um, I'm gonna be doing the Captain America comic books that I own, sharing that collection with you guys. Maybe I'll share more in the future. I do have a small, really small, maybe five Avenger comics. I do have some Fantastic Four comics. So I might do a video that shares a whole bunch of different ones in it. Some of the smaller ones. But that's all I have for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. The comic book videos, basically I'm just showing my collection. That's what I like doing. And I, I think now it's about time that I, sh I share my collection with you guys. Because you guys are enjoying it so far. So I'm going to continue that with 2018. New challenges, new videos to come. Stay tuned. Turn your post notifications on because 2018 is going to be bigger stuff. I have challenges on the way. I have new taste tests on the way. Spoiler alert. Japanese Kit Kats, Pocky, Toe of Satan, Carolina Reaper Challenge. All is going to be coming within the next few months. Going to be on the channel. Going to be making videos. Going to be really interesting and I enjoy doing the new things for you guys. That's why I like 2018. As I said, it's going to be the year of trying new things for you guys, for myself. But anyways, I will leave this video here. Peace.